This is Meet Your Maker, and our goal today is to discuss the biggest problem within Meet Your Maker's experience, which is most likely killing the game. Gotcha, didn't I, you little sucker? Welcome, mates. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, Bankering Lordy, and in this video, we will highlight our thoughts about this issue that has become even more prevalent in all bases being built today and why it needs to be addressed. So bring a chalice and stay hydrated. So I jumped into the building experience within Meet Your Maker, and there's a couple of things that you may have encountered if you experience within the game and have a lot of hours in Meet Your Maker is a base that looks like this. You enter the, the premise and you don't really see much except a whole bunch of walls like this, which are pretty much invisible walls, which can activate potential traps, holograms, whatever it may be behind these objects or whatever they end up being once revealed. And this is an issue that many players will be encountering, new players, old players, and also pretty much professional plays in this game to a certain degree. Anyone that's high level, reaching masters, I'm very close to that right now. And you'll be encountering this base quite a bit since all bases are using this same tech to a certain degree and even up to a crazy degree, which is unbelievable at some points. Say if I was to collect the gem at, say if I was around here, I collected it. Out of nowhere, everything starts to turn. And you're like, oh crap, got a trap here, destroy that. They got flames there, trying to defend myself and then dead straight away because these traps are activating through another object, being these corrosive cubes. So the traps can activate, and you really can't do much. That's pretty much how it goes. Your timing has to be really good here. There's ways to counter this, but the majority of the time, you'll just end up dying. So that's the ideology there, that a trap will activate from a certain distance, and this can be any trap. Even the claws activate through this and pull you towards that area. And there's something else here to activate another trap, I'll be dead. So that's something cool that is crazy tech to be available in the game. I feel like it creates this new level of depth. Problem is the death went too crazy and I feel like it was unseen by the developers how crazy this could get. Because the idea of deception through these cubes is kind of insane because now the next point is I don't really see it but you can see that flame trap there. And if I was running past, obviously these traps will activate and I'll be burnt to a crisp from both sides. So that is just awful. So let me destroy that trap and destroy this. So make sure what the next step is. You can go through these and survive, but there's also modifiers that can stop you from going through as well. And these bases are also called kill boxes or death boxes. It pretty much has a couple of names for this. It, the essential goal is to kill you so they can make points and get their rep higher on their base. That's pretty much the essential goal of it. And it does work out pretty well. But since everyone's doing it now, it's now created this system that is in place that everyone's doing the exact same thing. This is the only base you encounter, this fatigue. You will have crazy amounts of fatigue. It is beatable. Don't get me wrong, it's very easy to beat, especially with the right kit. It is very easy, but there's just so much fatigue that's involved in passing these bases, and also unluckiness when it comes to the RNG of surviving one of these traps, depending on the timing, because I could modify some of these traps, which make everything change. And as you can see, bolts work through it as well. Bolts can go through the trap, any sense of projectiles can go through. In this demonstration, this is pretty much like the maxed out aspect of this trap, but you can make combinations like no other to make this pretty much unbeatable. And I say unbeatable because you'll end up dying around 10 times before passing it. It'll be a series of pushing up, try and kill things, and hopefully survive. And try your best. And armor up to waste some of that potential of their traps and time them out so you push even further and further. There's, that is like the objective you have. In this aspect here, yeah, it's really hard, it's really difficult. And there's also other bases that put traps on this side. So instead of just going direct, directly towards and get trapped, there'll be traps on the bottom level and also another wall here shooting traps down. So if you were to get pulled to this area, you would get killed. Or if you're trying to break these traps, you also get killed. So it's very, very hard to pass. And this has become the biggest issue in the game because it's meta. It is the meta build at the moment. People build these bases by purpose. Even I, you have points where you're like, I like these traps, I want to use them. But the way people make them optimal is kind of crazy. I, I'm even shocked how good it is. Because I could bypass the majority of these bases, and some bases will end up getting like 5 to 10 deaths on, because it's just unlucky that I've encountered a base that's been done really, really well with this mechanic, with this little gimmick here, being able to shoot through these cubes. But there's other instances that, say, if I was to go through here, I'm like, okay, cool, and then, I don't know, trap activates, I'm trying to run away, and then I get flamed or get killed. And this is kind of hard, because I can't see through this trap. There's transparency to it, so if I were to shoot the trap and go through, and there was another trap close by, I'd be dead. There's one above, I'm dead. I have to make a last second decision of what's going to occur in this situation to survive. That's if you survive. So that's another thing there. But we also got this aspect here when you get pulled. You're like, okay, that's cool. And this combination here, I love. I think this is great. There's a modifier on this cube, which is called Splatter. It sucks. It is the worst modifier in the game, Splatter. Essentially, if you were to shoot through it, acid will drop down. It's really, really cool gimmick, but it just doesn't work in the game because damage over time isn't the most important thing in the game. It's damage in one instance being killed from that one instance of damage. 
whatever it may be, that's how the game works. Predominantly, that's what has to be in order to kill the raiders. So in this aspect here, when we have this trap activate, a grenade trap, through this trap here, which is invisible, and it can go through, because we part and bypass by getting pulled by this trap, and we get pulled into this range, that opens, allows the grenades to go down, and pretty much cause havoc, and then also the acid from each projectile falling down from that trap there, creates this acid pull. I love that technique. So we come to this decision where the mechanics can work pretty well, especially with underutilized modifiers. So transparency, I don't feel like many people use it, and when you do, it's this combination. And this modifier here with Splatter, it's only useful with that grenade trap. So, and with the invisible um, aspect being able to detect through this, because it won't work any other way. Splatter just sucks, it's a rubbish modifier, but it works in that way perfectly. It feels really fun to try to make bases with grenades and have that acid spillage happen from Splatter. So I do like that as a game mechanic, but this part of the game mechanic, I don't like. And I thought it would be alright initially, there's been a lot of talks about this, a lot of discussions, and when it started, I'm like, yeah, it's alright, it's point of the game is trying to kill players, and make that points back. But since every base has now become a kill box, it becomes quite hard to actually survive, and also creates that fatigue on the player that's trying to complete these bases, and ends up just departing. This seems to be an issue that even Behavior Studios, the Meet You Maker developers, have also double checked into, because this is not intended to happen. I thought it was, many people did, but then it ends up being an exploit. You can't get in trouble for it at the moment, there's nothing wrong with it. It's technically in the game, so that's how it's been built, and builders will use any tech to survive, and that is 100% justified. But only because this has happened so often, it makes it quite hard. And there's obviously a couple of fixes you can do this. You can take it out of the game completely, never see this in the game ever again, but I feel like it loses some of the promising factors you can get through this. As we've seen here, it's not the best uh, course of action if you have many traps activating on this, because it's pretty cheap to create a base that utilizes this, because it's an invisible return base. So once you get the gem mat, all these traps will activate, and invisibility is only five points. Maybe we should have another modifier that is added onto these uh, add-ons here, 25, 50, whatever points it may be, to allow for this factor to be in accordance, where you can actually use these cubes to shoot through. I think that'd be quite cool. I feel that the gimmick is really interesting, and if these cost 50 points to purchase, many people won't build them until they've reached the point when they're high prestige. And that makes it like an interesting encounter for people of all levels. And yes, it could be still be busted to a certain degree. People can make little corridors where it could be just this length and use all their points and capacity. But that becomes super simple for me to actually complete. And if there's a gem in this location right here, I just have to pick it up, spy drive, and I'm out. Instantly, all these traps are bypassed. So this is when these kill boxes won't exist as much until like a later stage throughout their own levels, and even then you can bypass them, especially when you play it well. I feel like it should be a small degree of this, but the extent it is right now, it's overkill. And that's the issue. So if there's a way to add a modifier, that's around 25, 50 points in the game to keep this transparency thing available, not to be the transparency of this object here, but the aspect of detective range being detected through the cube itself for these traps here, when you can start using acid splatter, and it would make sense. It would actually work out with your build with these traps as well. And I really do like that because then it becomes quite fun to build bases like that. And I feel like once that is gone, I have a current base right now that uses this modifier that uses grenades into splatter and then creates splatter pools everywhere. And it's so fun to see because many players don't encounter bases that use splatter at all. So seeing a base like mine that has splatter all over the place, they're like, wait, what? This is a thing? It's like a whole new experience. They end up thinking it's a part of a new update or something, or just got added into the game, because many people use it. Splatter was used for certain things, and even then, it's not that justified compared to using it for that. That is just crazy good, while every other aspect of Splatter just sucks, because bolt traps don't work through Splatter, so it doesn't really help. Nothing else works through Splatter except those grenades. And there's some other traps here and there, but they're not really good as grenades' performance is with the acid, and for a raid to actually shoot through the object to get hit by the splatter, but that won't kill them at all, so it's pretty much pointless at that point. So these kill boxes, should they be in the game? No, but yes. And I say yes to a certain degree. I don't want it to be this extent. When I go through a whole base that has, I'm be honest, maybe around 300 meters of kill box, and it's like, oh wow. And they've done these crazy twists and turns where you can't survive. You, you literally have to die multiple times and use a certain build that I have to counter these type of kill bases at the moment, because trying to get master at this point is very difficult, as you see from my icon there. I'm very close. I'm just a couple of thousand points away, but these are the bases I encounter. These are only the bases I encounter. I don't encounter any other bases, so I'm pretty much trying to survive the hardest bases in the game continuously, and at some point, I start to time out, and then if I get bugged out or tilted by one of these bases, it's just gonna ruin all my runs, and I get negative points on my rank. 
So that's the issue there with these bases. So yes, I want them to be removed to a certain degree and I want some type of remain of being able to use these factors of shooting through other objects through detective range, allowing it to be complete through a trap like this, through corrosive cubes. I do like that. And I feel like it should be there, but at a high modifier. It shouldn't just be second wave, it should be another modifier that adds another 50 points to that modifier that uses 50 capacity in order to access it. I think that's when it becomes kind of intriguing to see what bases end up being created. And I feel like if it ends up just being a corridor like this, anyone's gonna bypass it. Even if they think it's hard, it's quite easy if it's just a short corridor. But if it's a long ass corridor, 300 meters, that's when it gets a bit annoying. This rant on the actual traps and how it's working in the current time in the meta in Meet Your Maker because I think it needs to be resolved. And obviously, as I said, the developers do as well. So they will be doing some type of change. And they did have an announcement on, I think, Twitter, I believe. And they said, can confirm this is a bug and not intended. We have a fix in the works. That's pretty much it with a smiley face. So it looks like it's going to get fixed in certain degree. But I'm hoping they're able to listen to our feedback because I know the Meet Your Maker developers do watch our videos. So hoping they actually take our feedback in accordance and try to change it to a certain degree when it's still available to us, but in a certain way. Maybe it doesn't allow all traps to use that modifier to be able to shoot through. Maybe flame traps can't shoot through it. Maybe Bolties can, or maybe that's gone too or the benefit of having grenades be able to shoot through them because it allows for combinations as we showcased not long ago. I think that'd be kind of interesting. I think that is something fun in the game, but too much of it, like this is, is not fun. Over there is fun because it's interesting. Here, not interesting. Because <laughs> there's also other things. This gets even crazier when you put another guard here. Say we put a naked guard here and we try to beat this now. And the reason why I say try to beat it now there's now another dynamic that is able to be added into this build, very simply, and it becomes such a crazy thing to deal with. So you say if I'm rushing here, I see the minion, I'm like, okay, cool. I kill the minion before he shoots me. I'm over here, pick up the gym mat, destroy this trap, try to get past, I'm going past, and out of nowhere, we got warmongers, self-sabotage, and the traps, I'm getting pulled, and I'm about to die. If I try to get out of this trap, jump over here, and I'm getting jumped by the warmonger. There's a lot of things that could have happened, and I'm pretty much dead, especially when it's a concealed area, when I can't just bounce down. There's like things like that that could occur very easily. And that's what becomes even crazy with this build. There's a lot of potential, absolute lot of potential. And that's what people use this in the actual builds right now in their base building. It just makes sense to do so. It's the best way to kill raiders. And the game's ideology is to stop raiders and kill them so they don't steal your gem man. That's the goal. And for a builder, they're gonna build that way. For a raider, they're gonna try and find a way to counter this. And even then, it's very hard to counter. It's not like it's easy. It just becomes a really hard task of doing so continuously. That's what makes it very annoying or stale in the experience. But yeah, very, very interesting how these traps work in conjunction. But also it's getting nerfed. And obviously I like making bases. I've, I have a fun time understanding new tech and making things go crazy in bases. This was just a demonstration of how the technology actually works and how you can use this little trick for everything in the game currently. And if it gets prevented in some way and it's able to be accessible in some objects and not all, I would actually think that's all right and not too bad. But if every base has this same thing with flame traps, since flame traps don't have a cooldown, they can just keep on shooting nonstop. It is very, very boring to verse continuously in every base. That's for sure. But mates, tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. Obviously, we're very passionate about Mini Maker and how it's going to go in the future and what future it may have. And with this situation being resolved, we'll keep the game alive. That's something we want to talk about in the future, most likely. But tell me your pins and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. And as always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel as we're through this. And I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye-bye.